Hey there YouTube, Golden Cloud here. So in today's video, we're going to be going over entry level based uh, Linux based certifications. Uh, if you did watch one of my previous videos, this is one of the subject matters that would be, it would behoove you to understand this. Uh, if you're going to try to be a, a cloud engineer or even a, in a cloud support type of role, or if you're working uh, almost any other sort of database type role, uh, uh, system admin uh, because there's almost every single server nowadays uh, utilizes Linux uh, even in Windows and Azure based environments um, so specifically we'll be going over the uh, LPI Linux essentials um, and the uh, resources you can utilize for that uh, without further ado let's begin All right, thank you again for sticking around in this video. Uh, so also be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, it really does help uh, me out. Uh, so in this video, as I said, we're gonna be going over the Linux, uh, LPI Linux Essential Certification, the resources you can utilize for this. Uh, the study resources for this, it's on, uh, again, our favorite uh, instructor course, uh, Linux Academy, AKA a Cloud Guru. Um, this uh, particular course is 26 hours long. It is taught by Michael Christian. As you can see, I've already finished this course. Uh, what I can tell you about this course is just, it's pretty straightforward. It doesn't go over a particular uh, Linux uh, operating, operating system. Uh, uh, there are other certifications out there that do focus on one or another. Uh, and we'll be going over that in actually the next video. But um, for here, uh, it doesn't cover anything in particular. Uh, it just goes over a couple different Linux uh, shells and the different um, the different scripts you you would utilize to administer them. Um, so as I said, great course. Um, everything they do is pretty pretty amazing. Uh, I thought this 100% prepared me for the exam, especially with the uh, hands-on labs. They have uh, numerous hands-on labs you can utilize. Um, and then they also have a practice test at the end, um, which this was pretty straightforward. It took me a few tries to get close to 100%, but uh, this was pretty amazing. But again, whenever I'm studying, uh, and I suggest the same thing for you, uh, is, you know, have your course for whatever instructor is your preferred instructor, and then also have a lot of other testing material and examples to utilize. And this is because if you're using separate testing and you're using multiple tests, it's usually going to get you in that testing mode where you're uh, where, where you feel more comfortable taking the test. In this example, we're going to go with uh, our favorite for testing, which is Jason Dion. Uh, it says $94, but you could probably get it on sale for uh, $10, $14, something along those lines. It's six practice exams. I've not actually taken this, so I can't actually vouch for this particular practice exams. Uh, all I can say is on past practice exams I've utilized from him from Network Plus and Security Plus and how easy and straightforward it was with those. So we have two more tabs here actually um, in reference to this. Uh, so yes, going for the LPI Linux Essentials is going to be probably your preferred step to get your feet wet with uh, an entry level based Linux exam. However, it's not the only one out there. They also have a uh, Linux Foundation Certified admin System Administrator. This is another uh, foundational and entry-level certification. Uh, this one is provided by the, the Linux Foundation. Uh, the other one, which as I said before, it is uh, vendor-specific, I should say. Um, this is from Red Hat. 
Uh, this is a pre preliminary exam for Red Hat uh, System Admin, or PE124. Um, so this would kind of be Red Hat's entry level uh, foundational exam. Uh, and this is before their Red Hat uh, Server System Administrator, or RHCSA, or yes, RHCSA uh, for short. Um, but this would be the exam you would take before that. And this is particular to Red Hat uh, operating system. So those uh, are just a couple extra um, entry level uh, Linux based certifications you can look at if that's something that you, uh, you are interested in. Uh, I personally recommend the LPI Linux Essentials. Uh, I've seen more job postings in my area uh, requesting this. However, that doesn't necessarily mean in everyone's area. If you are somewhere else and maybe you see the Linux foundational uh, system cer uh, certified system administrator, or maybe you see where someone a uh, job posting is requesting the PE124. Um, and if you do see either of those in your area more in abundance uh, than the LPI and Linux Essentials, please make a comment in the video. I'd love to find that out. I always love doing market research in different areas. So thank you again for watching. I do hope everyone who goes out there and uh, takes this exam studies hard. Uh, remember to give yourself at least two to three days of uh, studying. Uh, so take take all of these exams at least once whenever you're doing a practice run with an exam, even if it's not for Linux. Uh, study everything at least once and then give yourself at least two to three days after that to go through and just review all the content over and over again. Other than that, thank you so much for watching. It's been a pleasure and I will see you next time.